might call Alex Snell a milk connoisseur. He's a cancer survivor and drinks a lot of milk to settle his stomach. But lately, he says the milk he buys has been spoiling way too early. The very first time this happened to me, it expired about 10 days before the expiration date. At first, Alex thought it was a fluke. But a week after buying a new gallon... It had started to curdle. Ugh. Then, he says, it happened a third time and a fourth. Yeah, it smells like cheese. That's, yeah, that's gross. So, we decided to investigate, putting Alex's milk to the test. Our first stop, his neighborhood Lucky's, where we stocked up on Sunnyside Farms, Alex's brand. <sighs> then we bought the same Sunnyside Farms brand and at a different supermarket, Knob Hill Foods. We also picked up a control milk there, different brand, same store. Packing each gallon into a cooler of ice, we delivered the samples to Enresco Labs to be tested. OK, guys. Meanwhile, back at the station, we recruited newsroom staffers for three blind taste tests. We're going to have you test it today, in about a week from now, and in about two weeks from now. Round one, the day we bought the milk. All three milks smelled and tasted equally fresh. Tastes like normal milk. <laughs> but one week later. It's drinkable, but I wouldn't call it fresh. The Sunnyside Farms from Alex's Luckies was already getting bad reviews nine days before the date stamp. Yeah, I'd be on the edge of uh, throwing it out. And so was the Sunnyside Farms from Knob Hill, still eight days before its date stamp. Yeah, that one doesn't taste good. Mm -mm. But the Clover brand from the same Knob Hill got the best reviews. It was date stamped the very next day. It doesn't taste quite as fresh as it did a week ago, mm -hmm. but it still tastes fine. But our round three taste test was the clincher. Number three expired seven days ago. Number two expires tomorrow. And number one expires in two days. One of these smells funny. Two days before the Best Buy date, Sunnyside from Alex's Luckies was already deemed unfit to drink. It looks like something I would find in my brother's college fridge, so. <laughs> As was the Sunnyside Farms from Knob Hill, which still had one day to go. Ooh, there are floaties in here. <laughs> oh, I can already tell this is not awesome. Oh, that's nasty. And once again, the Clover brand from the same store, now one week past its date stamp, was unanimously voted the best of the bunch. Are you surprised that the expired milk is actually fresher than the non-expired milk? Yeah. yeah. Yes, definitely. <laughs> the ones that are dated farthest out should be the freshest, and it should be a consistent thing. But it turns out that's not necessarily the case. You see, no one regulates sell-by or best-by dates. They're voluntary. Dairy processors can set these dates as far ahead as they want. In this case, Sunnyside Farms Milk had a best-by date, the date by which you should drink it, while Clover had a sell-by date, the date stores are supposed to stop selling it. Sell-by date is the typical one that's on there. Dr. Philip Tong is with the California Creamery Association and says the sell-by date is the industry's voluntary standard. This tells the retailer that that product should be sold in the, at the store by that date, and typically, uh, milk would still be good if kept cold uh, five to seven days after that sell-by date. That would explain why our clover milk still tasted good one week after the sell-by date. It tastes like milk. <laughs> while you might expect Sunnyside Farms to start souring on its best-by date. You owe me for this. <laughs> when it comes to dates, we, we really walked away with these dates don't mean anything. Well, I mean, I still think it provides the consumer with some some valuable information, at least that's for me. As for our lab tests, regardless of taste, all three were well below the legal microbial limit. Those counts don't count all bacteria, unfortunately. There must have been some bacteria in our milk that caused it to spoil, even though the lab didn't find anything. That's right. That's right. Back in Dublin, Alex is sticking with a smell test. I'm spending money here, and I'm having to pour it down the drain. And switching to another brand. In San Francisco, Julie Watts, KPIX 5.